Good morning guys, today we are going to Kobe from Osaka to eat some delicious Kobe beef But first we are going to the family mart to get some food for on the way to Kobe Guys, we have arrived in Kobe and the first thing that we are going to do is eat Kobe beef of course. We are going to eat our Kobe beef here. Oh my god, it's fully booked. We didn't book. Via. If you want to eat here, book via Instagram or Facebook. We didn't do that and it's fully booked for the whole day, even tonight. Okay, luckily guys, they do have a spot at 5 p.m. So kind of that woman. She also asked my Instagram to confirm and so she can contact us if she cannot provide the table anymore. So <laughs> it's so popular, so make sure you book a table. We are going to eat tayaki here and it smells amazing. First bite. Mm, really good. There's also a um, tayaki croissant in Kobe, but this is a normal tayaki. Really warm and gooey. A nice vanilla custard. And the part of the tayaki that you eat first says something about your personality. I ate the head first and I will list my personality features right here. We are going to eat Kobe in here. They have a Kobe certificate. So we were asking for a table here and they asked if we had a reservation and we don't. So they have to check if they have a table left for us. If you come to Kobe and you want to eat some good quality Kobe beef, make sure that you make a reservation because we thought we could just walk in, but it's better to have a reservation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have the table. So a little fact about Kobe beef. Kobe beef is Wagyu from the region Kobe in Japan. Every Kobe beef is Wagyu but not every Wagyu is Kobe beef. And we have a different gradation of the beef. Different yields for from A to C. Meat quality score 1 to 5. So the best is A5 Wagyu. And there's also a BMS score. The beef marbling score. The menu. We have different lunch menus. These two are Kobe beefs and these, these two are not Kobe. We got some chicken with sesame paste. There's an appetizer. We also have a salad. So this is salt. Honey mustard and soy sauce with vinegar. Ponzu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ponzu. Japanese name. Ah, Ponzu. What is that? Yeah. What's Japanese name for it? Oh, yeah. But other is zero calorie noodles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero calories. This is Wagyu. Wagyu. And this is Kobe. Kobe. Yeah. Uh, high price, low price. <laughs> <laughs> high price, low price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are we going to start with the high or low price? The low. Low. So it's going to start with the veggies. Because it's cooked in the garlic oil, it has a little bit of a garlic taste. 
Gonya. It has no taste. This one is the cheaper Kobe. And now the Wasu. I actually really like the Wasu. So we also got some rice. So I got some rice, a soup, and some beans. Expensive cuts. Big ones. For dessert, we got a sorbet. It's usual ice cream. That was such a good experience. I really enjoyed Kobe beef and the Wagyu. Now we are going to explore Kobe city and shop for a little bit and now we are going to our second Kobe place. So here they have the croissant tayaki. They even have croissant tayaki with ice cream. I don't know. Vanilla. Vanilla. Ah, look at that, so cute. <laughs> this is a croissant tayaki. First bite. Oh, the ice cream is kind of hard. Tastes like a croissant. Too bad that it's not warm. But I think if you get that one with the filling, they will warm it up for you. Mm, really good vanilla ice cream. Tayaki is alright. I think the one with the filling and if they warm it up for you then it's better but the ice cream is very good Again. together it's really good we are now walking at the port of Kobe. Kobe and the sun is starting to go down it's very beautiful golden glow You look like uh, in a movie. It's 5 p.m. and we are back at Steakhouse O Aoyama. <laughs> so this is the menu. You have one set with uh, with seafood and the seafood of today is killer. And then you also have a Kobe set without seafood. And this is not Kobe, but it is Wagyu, I believe. And this is hamburger. And you can also order a la carte beef, so without a whole set. But you do get vegetables with this. So we first got a salad, ponsu sauce with white radish, grated radish, and some salt. And they use a ponsu dressing for the salad. Kobe beef, 200. 200 grams of Kobe beef, 400 grams of Kobe beef. Now he's frying the garlic, now he's grating the vegetables and tofu. Ready first. <laughs> I run. In Japanese, tofu. We use paprika from Olanda. Ah. Very famous. <laughs> Paprika. In Japanese, paprika. <laughs> Good student. Shiitake. Garlic. 
Gar garlic. Garlic. Ground rice. Oh, okay. The leaf is ju just a little bit green mm -hmm. because the farmer just cut in here. Kyushu, Kumamoto Prefecture. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting. Me cha thank you. Go baby. A piece of garlic and some salt. Much more soft and juicy than the other place. And at the previous place we got our rice way too late. We almost finished all our beef and then we got our rice. But now it's perfectly on time. Really good rice. You can really tell a difference between the normal Wagyu and the food. They are both A4 Wagyu because A5 Wagyu is too fatty to grill on a plate. And Kobe beef is really more juicy than the Wagyu. So I would definitely recommend you to try the Kobe beef when you are in this restaurant. You do really taste a difference. But both are very good. You're done eating the beef. You move over to another table to eat the dessert. <laughs> This is Some kind of cream, a little bit citrusy. Caramel ice cream. It's really so delicious. Also so cozy here. Top of the rock mountain. Oh. view, night view, night view, data. So he gave us some postcards that he made him himself for different postcards. Thank you. Yes, we all look up. This area we couldn't see that. No. No. That was the best Kobe experience ever. If you want to eat Kobe, I would definitely recommend you to go to that restaurant. The experience was 10 out of 10. The woman also says that tonight is lunar eclipse, so the moon is very beautiful tonight, so we should look up. I can't find the moon right now, but I will definitely look up later tonight. This is the moon, and it's now busy doing the lunar eclipse. Wowie! So,